Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn and solve exercise questions 1 to 18, exercise 4a, chapter 4. Chapter name is Rational Numbers of Class 7th of Composite Mathematics Textbook. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for getting notifications of future videos. And please visit my blog messgrade.com for more information regarding the textbook solutions of CBSC, ICSC and other state board. Let's get started and solve some questions of the chapter 4. Chapter name is Rational Numbers. Today we will learn and solve exercise questions 1 to 18, exercise 4a of chapter 4. Chapter name is Rational Numbers. Let's solve some questions. Now question number 12. Arrange in ascending order. We have given the rational numbers. We have to arrange these rational numbers in descending order. That is the greatest to the smallest rational number. We have given rational numbers 3 by 4, 11 by 8, 9 by 16 and 33 by 16. Yep. We have, first we have to find the LCM of these denominators 4, 8 and 16. Now prime factorization of 4 is 2 multiplied with 2. Prime factorization of 8 is 2 multiplied with 2 multiplied with 8. No, 2 multiplied with 2 multiplied with 2. And 16 is 2 multiplied with 2 multiplied with 2 multiplied with 2. 4 times. Now we have to find the LCM. LCM of 4, 8, 16. It will be 2 multiplied with 2 multiplied with 2 multiplied with 2. Two, that is 16. 16 is the LCM. Now we have to convert these rational numbers into equivalent rational number. Now we have to find the number which we multiply with the denominator 4 which will be the denominator, denominator equal to the LCM that is 16. Now if we multiply um, the number in table um, 4, if we multiply 4 with 4, 4, 4 is 16. Now we have to multiply the number 4 with the numerator 3. 3, 4 is 12. Now 12 divided by 16 is the equivalent rational number of 3 by 4. Now we have to convert these rational numbers 11 by 8 into equivalent rational number. That is, we have to find the number which we multiply with the denominator 8 will be the equal to the LCM. That is 16. Now, if we multiply 8 with 2, 8 to 16. Now, we have to multiply the same number 2 with the numerator 11. 11 to 22. Now, 22 divided by 16 is the equivalent rational number of 11 by 8. Now, we have to convert this 9 by 16. 9 by 16 into equivalent rational number. That is here, denominator is 16. Uh, we have to multiply the number which we multiply with the denominator 16. We will get the number that is equal to the LCM which is 16. Now if we multiply 16 with 1, 16 in 1 is yeah, 16. Now we have to multiply the same number 1 with 9 that is 9 by 16. Now here 33 divided by 16. Here denominator is 16 which is equal to the LCM 16. So no need to convert this rational number into equivalent that is uh, it is uh, only the equivalent rational number that is equal to the denominator 16 so 33 divided by 16 is the equivalent rational number of 33 divided by 16 now we get all these rational numbers with equal denominator 16 now we have to compare these rational numbers with equal denominators so we have to first compare the numerator now, if we see this numerator, that is 12, 9, 22 and 33. Here, the greatest number is 33. So, greatest number is 33. Uh, then, 33 after 33, 22, greatest number. Then, 12 is the greatest number. Then, after 12, 9 is the greatest number. Now, 33 divided by 16. This is the greatest rational number. Then, 22 divided by 16. Then, 12 divided by 16. Then 9 divided by 16. Now 33 divided by 16. This is the equivalent decimal number of 33 divided by 16 only. So just write down 33 divided by 16. Then 22 divided by 16 uh, is the equivalent decimal number of 11 by 8. And then 12 divided by 16 is the equivalent decimal number of 3 by 4. Then 9 by 16 is the equivalent decimal number of 9 by 16 only.
Now this is the uh, equivalent rational numbers. Now these are the rational numbers arranging in descending order. That is from the greatest to the lowest, greatest to the least rational number. 33 divided by 16 is the greatest rational number. Then 9 by 16 is the smallest rational number. So when we compare, uh, when we arrange the rational numbers in descending order, uh, that is uh, that is the same as the uh, ascending order. That is first we have to convert these rational numbers in equivalent rational number, then compare the numerator, then smallest uh, small uh, then greatest number is the greatest rational number, and then if the number is the smaller number with minus sign, that will be the greatest rational number. That is the formula. Now question number second bit. 1 by 7 minus 1 by 3 minus 2 by 8. We have to arrange these rational numbers in descending order that is the greatest to the least rational number. First find out the LCM of this denominator 7, 3 and 8. So LCM of 7, 3, 8. And there is no common denominator so we have to multiply all these numbers 7, 3 is 21, 21 multiplied with 8 is 168. And 168 is the LCM of this denominator 7, 3 and 8. Now we have to com convert this rational number 1 by 7 into equivalent rational number. That is we have to we have to find the number which we multiply with the denominator 7. We will get the number hmm, which will be the equal to the LCM. That is 168. If we multiply 7 with 24 then we will get 168. Now we have to multiply the same number 24 with numerator 1. 24 multiplied with 1 is 24. Now 24 divided by 168, this is the equivalent rational number of 1 by 7. Now we have to convert this rational number minus 1 by 3. Minus 1 by 3 into equivalent rational number. We have to find the number which we multiply with the denominator 3. We will get the LCM that is equal to the denominator that is 168. Now in, if we multiply 3 with 56. 7, 8, 56, 7, 8, 7, 8, 56. So, uh, 3 multiplied with 56 is 168. Now, we have to multiply the same number 56 with the numerator minus 1. Minus 1 multiplied with 56 is minus 56. Now, minus 56 divided by 168. This is the equivalent decimal number of minus 1 by 3. Now, we have to convert this decimal number minus 2 by 8 into equivalent decimal number. So we have to multiply the denominator 8 with 7, 3 is 21. 8 multiplied with 21 is 168. Now we have to multiply the same number 21 with the numerator minus 2. Now minus 2 multiplied with 21 is minus 42. Now minus 42 divided by 168, this is the equivalent decimal number of minus 2 by 8. Now we get all these rational numbers with equal denominator 168. Now we have to compare all these rational numbers. That is, now we have to compare this numerator. That is 24. Here 24 is the greater number than between minus 56 and minus 42. Minus 42 is the greater number than minus 56. Now 24 divided by 168. This is the greatest this is the greatest rational number. Then minus 42 divided by 168. Then minus 56 divided by 168. Now 24 divided by 168. This is the equivalent rational number of 1 by 7. Then minus 42 divided by 168. This is the equivalent rational number of minus 2 by 8. Then minus 56 divided by 168. This is the equivalent decimal number of minus 1 by 3. This is the arrangement of rational numbers in descending order. That is the greatest to the smallest rational number. Now question number third bit. 3 by minus 5, minus 7 by 10, and 8 by minus 10, and minus 17 by 15. We have to arrange these equivalent arrange the rational numbers in descending order that is the greatest to the smallest rational number now find out the lcm of 
5, 10, 15. Now prime factorization of 10 is 5 multiplied is 2 and prime factorization of 15 is 5 multiplied is 3. Now 5 2 is 10, 10 3 is 30. Now 30 is the, uh, the LCM of this denominator 5, 10, 10 and 50. Now we have to convert this rational number 3 by minus 5 into equivalent rational number that is equal, equal to the denominator which is equal to the LCM that is 30. Now minus 5 if we multiply 5 with 6, 5, 6 is 30. Now we have to find out the number which we multiply with minus 5 that is your minus 5 minus negative sign. So we have to multiply minus 6. Minus multiplied with minus 6 plus now 5 multiplied with 6 is 30. Now we have to multiply the same number minus 6 with the numerator 3. 3, 6 is 18. And 3 multiplied with minus 6 plus multiplied with minus 6 minus. Minus 18 divided by 30 is the equivalent rational number of 3 by minus 5. Now convert this rational number minus 7 divided by 10 into equivalent rational number. Now your denominator is 10. You find out the number which you multiply with the denominator 10 will get the number that is the equal to the LCM that is 3, 30. So in the table 10, 10 multiplied with 3 is 30. Now we have to multiply the same number 3 with the numerator minus 7. Minus 7 multiplied with 3 is minus 21. And minus 21 divided by 30 is the equivalent rational number of minus 7 divided by 10. Now we have to come we have to convert these rational numbers 8 divided by minus 10. 8 divided by minus 10 into equivalent rational number. Now, we have to find the number which you multiply with the number minus 10. We will get the denominator which is equal to the LCM that is 30. Now, in the table 10, 10 multiplied with 3 is 30. Now, if we multiply 10 minus 10 with minus 3, minus multiplied with minus is plus. Now, we have to multiply the same number minus 3 with the numerator 8. 8, 3 is 24. Now 8 multiplied with minus 3 is minus 24. Now minus 24 divided by 30 is the equivalent rational number of 8 divided by minus 10. Now we have to convert this rational number minus 17 divided by 15 um, into equivalent rational number. Now in the denominator uh, 15. So we have to multiply them, we have to find the number which we multiply with the denominator 15, we will get the number which is equal to the LCM that is 30. Now in the table 15, 15 2 is a 30. So we have to multiply the number 2 with the numerator 17. Minus 17 multiplied with 2 is minus 34. Minus multiplied with plus is minus. Now minus 34 divided by 30 is the equivalent decimal number of minus 17 divided by 15. Now we get all these rational numbers. We got all these rational numbers uh, with equal denominator 30. Now we have to compare. That is all these are uh, negative rational negative number, negative rational number. So here 24, 34 is greater number, but here negative sign is here. So negative 34 will be the smallest rational number and minus 18. Is the small is the greatest rational minus 18 is the greatest number so minus 18 is the greatest number then minus 21 then minus 24 then minus 34 minus 34 is the smallest number and minus 18 divided by 30 is the greatest rational number then minus 21 by 30 then minus 24 by 30 then minus 34 by 30 now minus 18 divided by 30 is the equivalent decimal number of 3 by minus 5. So 3 by minus 5 then minus 21 divided by 30 is the equivalent decimal number of minus 7 by 10. Minus 7 by 10. And minus 24 divided by 30 is the equivalent decimal number of, number of 8 by minus 10. Now minus 34 divided by 30 is the equivalent decimal number of minus 17 by 15. Now 3 by minus 5 is the, is the greatest decimal number. And minus 17 divided by 15 is the smallest decimal number. 